the people in a place where it's really hard for especially minorities or like, I wouldn't necessarily say minorities, it's just people that are less likely to succeed. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't have the knowledge that they need. You see what I'm saying? The majority of those people have it to be. And it's all because of the music, number one, but that's a different topic. That's a different that's a, lot, that's a different uh, conversation. There's a, there's a lot put into that. It's yeah. just like seek and you will find. You see what I'm saying? You already know, like if you put if they put it in the book, you know, a lot of people won't take a look. But if you actually read that book and you find out that information, then you'll get hooked. You know, it's 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 life. You know, everything that I've learned, you know, I read. Yeah. You know, like Everything that you know that got me to this situation, or got you, to, I guarantee, got you to this situation. You know what I mean? How to influence your friend? You know what I mean? How to uh, was it? Think and grow rich. That book is awesome. Yeah. Um, just, even the Bible is freaking awesome. It's, uh, there's else? something about there's, there's crazy something about books a out book there. That's powerful. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. That book is crazy. You know, it's like it's just words. It's words in general. Words carry value. You know what I'm saying? Words carry a, a certain type of like positive or negative energy to it. So it's also crucial to understand what type of words that you put into your mind because it can affect how you think and how you operate on a day-to-day -day basis. That makes sense. That's why it's important to read, but know what you're reading. Yeah. That's why it's read and write. Reviews, read and write. Like, you have to write. Writing is so it's like putting information into a like a into a, a vase or a vase, whatever words you want to use in your politically and or bold. verbal correct way. Or, or vase. Whatever. A vase. A vase. A vase. A vase. I just made up a word. A vase. A bowl. Put this into my vase. <laughs> a big bowl is called don't a break, bowl. Don't break the vase. Let me get my bowl. Get, get me your vase. My spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> my ravioli. <laughs> But yeah, so like all the information you stick, you put in there, you know, it needs a release. So either that's you teaching it, giving it verbally, or you writing it down. You know, like you have to release that information for other information to come in. Because there's going to be a point in life where it's just, you're going to explode, you're going to have all this stuff in your head, you're going to be like super congested, yeah. which usually on another note, I am usually congested, but since I've been eating like vegetables and so right, you're right. talking about like congested yeah, as far as information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I kind of segue into the, the, the health thing. Okay. But, but yeah, like get as much information as you can, but you need to let that information out in order for you to receive more. And my question to you is, how do you release that information? Get some tips well, on so how yeah, to Yeah, like, well, uh, and create, like for, like, for example, like, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, like whatever I read or whatever like has been taught to me, I find a way to creatively put that in through the music. You know, so, so like music. yeah, that's so that's formula. my out that's Let my outlet. Out. So with the music I can release it through like uh, you know, through the lyrics and also I can release the information I'm learning about like, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, music theory through producing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I, I feel it like out. that's a good topic because there's a lot of like tools and a lot of ways to release information via art. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You can do it through uh, music, like you just stated, or you can do it through writing. You can do it through a lot of different expressions Outlets. of yeah. letting things out, and it's a good way to let things in, these things out that you're actually getting into your mind. You know, so you're teaching yourself. And teaching others at the, at the same, same time. time. Exactly. But yeah. you gotta find your you gotta find your creative way of doing it. You know, for us, like we do it through our music, and you know, our music is totally different. Like what we want to do for the world is basically inspire people and you know, give people an opportunity to see who they really are. You and know, just, from a deep just to be yourselves. Time. Like there's yeah. so much people that are out here that are so uptight because they feel like they're gonna be judged or they're always thinking about what people are thinking about. Yeah, you know, true. like. But it, if it's just you, yourself, people will gravitate to it more because they feel that energy is yeah. raw, it's real. It's that you know? vibe, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's coming from straight inside, you know what I mean? Like, no doubt. And, no, you don't have to, like, try to impress people. 
You know what I mean? Your game speaks for itself. I was just watching Michael Jordan, uh, not a documentary, but just like a Michael Jordan um, uh, interview with his uh, his trainer, Michael Jordan's trainer. And Michael Jordan let his game speak for himself, mainly because of the practice that he put in. So all that information that he put in, you know, he took in a lot of information over it. Period, this period of time, and he was able to express it so that creatively you, that through the game. You back. That brings you back to like his mentors. He didn't just wake up one morning and just like, hey, oh, I know how to ball, you know? Like, he had somebody that Jumping knew the off. game. That's yeah. somebody, this is crucial, bro. Yeah, yeah. Have, like, people have to think about this. You need somebody that knows the specific tools and how to get where you need to go yeah. so they can direct you in that direction. It's like it's like somebody just walking down the street and they find a hammer on the right side of the road. They pick up the hammer and they're gonna be like, yo, I'm about to build a house. With no way of how to do it, nobody instructing them on how to do it, and they go out and try to build a house. That's that motivation. Is that gonna, <laughs> it's that's not like Thor. That's the <laughs> improper motivation. Right Thor there. motivation. It's on the damn hair. <laughs> nah, but you need someone to guide you to show you how to use that hammer. You know what I mean? When to use the hammer. Because look, meaning you you can be as good as you want, you know, in your mind at your task. But there's somebody that did it before you, and they figured out that there's an easier way of doing it. And all that hard work that you're putting in right now could just be alleviated if you're just saving a lot of time. Exactly. A lot of time. Like, yeah, you might get to the end where you actually build this house, but With think about when you're walking into this house, how long the, longe the longevity of this house, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's probably going to be a lasting longer. The sustainability of it is going to be long lasting rather than just having a house that was just made in like three weeks. You know Rome wasn't built. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, it was not. It wasn't built in a day. But at the same time, we don't that know, we applies don't know to the everything. Exact amount of time had it's been made, but it wasn't. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't built in a day. Maybe it was two days, but it wasn't a day. You get our point. <laughs> you, you get our point. Well, I think we should build a city called Rome. How long is this going to take, sir? This is going to take about. Uh, Please. I want it done in an hour. <laughs> get, oh. get Johnny, because I don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> I want it done in an hour. If you can't do it in an hour, you shall die. No, Rome was Honestly. definitely, I, I think Rome probably took like, what? A couple, a couple of generations to build. Decades, bro. Yeah. Decades. So that, I mean, we just relate that to everything. So like what we're talking about, physical health. Physical health. <laughs> it smells like cinnamon. It smells cinnamon. Physical, you know, physical health, mental health, and then financial health, as well as create like creative health as well too. You just need to exercise those muscles, bring as much information in from reliable sources, and you know, blasting express it, it out, and then express bring it. Bring it in, blasting it out. Um, it's just like the digestive system, you know, like. What goes in must come, come out, out. Yeah. but you also have to be, ooh, that's deep. You have to be mindful of what you're putting in. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I really wanna rock him, rock him, rock him, cause I really wanna rock him, rock him, rock him.